All right, guys, welcome to a fun episode of Youth Got Next podcast. If you were with us this past Wednesday, then you would know that YPT spoke a lesson about anger and forgiveness, and it was a great lesson. You should go back and watch it, but I will tell you that in him preparing for the lesson, he just sat down in our meeting and asked, like, hey, what are some things that just make you angry? And as we were talking about it, we started to realize, first of all, some of ours are very similar. But second of all, all of us are very passionate about the weird things that can make us angry. And so we thought it would be funny to sit down and talk through just a couple things um, that maybe make us really angry. So we thought we would do a top three draft for each of us about things that make us angry. And I'm going to say, since YPT spoke the lesson, he should go first. So... Oh, yes. Let's hear it. What I, I makes you the angriest? I, I can vent about one of my biggest frustrations. <laughs> it happened to me this morning. Uh-oh. So we have uh, construction going on right mm. around the corner from mm. my house. And I'm leave, I've am i left the house, and I'm already frustrated because there's construction. And I get to the, the stop sign that, like, takes me to the main road. And the person in front of me, there's a car there stopped, which mm. is good. I'm glad they stopped at the stop sign. What's not so good is they didn't move. Mm. And I oh. gave, like, I'm waiting for a second, and I'm trying to be patient. Like, mm. I've learned to be a little bit patient. And so I do the little, you know, hunk, trying to just, hey, you know, I'm not mad. Just, yeah. hey, I'm yeah. here. Let's yeah. go. They never moved. <laughs> oh. I thought for a second about going around <laughs> they them died. one way, and I thought, no, they're going to run into me because they're going to start to drive just as I go past them. They, oh. This is the other part. They're in the middle of the road. Oh. So then mm. I thought, all right, I'm going to go around them. Uh-huh. I drove around them and looked as I did. They're just on their phone, mm. in their own little world, oh, man. on the road. So I went around them. They never saw me go around them. Mm. Now, here's the, the, the icing on the cake. Mm. I get cake. a quarter of a mile down the road, come up. We, the guy in front of me and myself, get a green light with a green arrow, and he just sits there. Oh, man. Again. And I'm like, what is happening in my world? The two for one special right there. <laughs> so yeah, I have this. I did thing. not honk, but we eventually went, and I was just so frustrated. Bad drivers made me so angry that I think that you should be required to be actually like driver tested pretty Amen. repeatedly. I agree. Like every couple That's of years, as often as you have to like renew your plates, you got to take a driver's test. I I don't want I to have to do it, but uh, the same. amount of bad drivers there are, I think, would be reduced because uh, it's starters, so infuriating. Put your phone down yeah. and actually just watch the road around you. You'd yeah. be more aware. I would agree. And I think sometimes I would like to be able to nominate other drivers for that experience mm. based on the horrible driving <laughs> that I watched. <laughs> Just say, you, sir, have to go take the oh, test yeah, today. <laughs> I just want to take a picture. Red card. I would love to record video. Another element of today for me, I watched a Tesla fly by me, like just zoom oh. by me. Yeah. And change lanes multiple times, all while his left blinker was just hanging out. Oh. Oh, never never changed that. his turn signal, oh. just kept it on while he went from one lane to the next. I was like, that's a pretty fancy car. Your blinkers don't work. He finally turned it off. There you go. Hey, Way down the road. All right. So we got bad slash crazy drivers is yeah. number one on the list. Nick, what makes you angry? <sighs> I think movie spoilers. Mm. People who spoil movies mm. Have you seen me. the creator yet? We don't need to do this on the podcast because that will. We don't need to talk about <laughs> things that will make me angry in I the just presence. Want you to know I haven't seen it yet. So okay, you're, you're safe. The creator. Uh, oh, that button was easy to push. I know. I know. I know. You felt. I felt the switch. A little heat right there. Hey, a little you know, warm right now. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen Endgame? I have seen Endgame. Oh, that's okay. Good. Okay. That's yeah. the one. That's okay. That's good. Mm. All right. So, all right. Movie spoilers. My number one pick, and this is just, it's getting worse and worse as as time goes on. Um, I would hope it would go the other way. But inanimate objects that don't function how I think that they should. I'm so with you. If if something, and and oftentimes, I'm going to be honest, it's my fault that I'm not using it how maybe it should be used. Like, just a little one this morning, I was just trying to put, like, uh, I was trying to, what was it? Plug something up to a charger. And yeah. I just couldn't get the little bit to oh, fit into USB. where the Which charger was go? supposed to go. I just tossed it, and I was like, hey, it's, it's just going to die, and just walked off. Because <laughs> oh it makes gosh. me so angry. So inanimate <laughs> objects, that's my that's my number one. I feel that. It, I don't know if this second one for me is like, it's similar to yours, but you didn't mm. say a very key word. Okay. So I'm going to use I'm Oh, I know my, yours. Yeah, you know it's, different. it's different. It's uh, different. Technology. Mm. that does not function properly. Mm. And I feel like I'm either cursed 
or mm -hmm. I'm just like special in some sort of not very fun sort of way. Yeah. So an example uh, is I get into my car, which, you know, I'm thankful to have a car. Hear me say that. I'm thankful mm -hmm. that my car has Bluetooth so I can listen to music. But if I plug my phone into my car mm -hmm. and then I go to make a phone call, by using the talk thing, so I'm not touching my phone, I'm trying to be a good driver, everybody, my car straight up says to me, please connect your phone. Mm. And I'm like, I connected a phone! Yeah. And then yeah. I want to say things that a pastor, <laughs> okay. a Christian, a believer <laughs> ought not say. And, yeah. I, and then my brain immediately goes, what is wrong with me? Yeah. It's horrible. Yeah. And everything with technology. Now, I, I get it that if my computer is misbehaving, <laughs> smashing it is not helpful. But mm. it doesn't change the little bit of desire to do yeah. so every oh, yeah. once in a while. Yeah. It's like it's never going to work again if I smash it, but it's already not working. So can I just smash it, right? It yeah. helps that they're very expensive. And yeah. When I'm paying for it, I'm like, oh, yeah. maybe not. That's do fair. you find that it gets worse as you get older? Are you calling me old? I, you just I called might, you old I on might the be podcast. Here. You know, one of the other things that really gets me about <laughs> is calling me old. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I, I think what I'm shocked by is the some things, I'm just mm -hmm. like, eh, it's no big deal. Other mm -hmm. things, I just mm. immediately mm. incense. I'm just yeah. hot. I get that. Like, when something really big happens that yeah. should maybe like, make eh. you furious, you're like, life yeah. happens. Yeah. But when the little thing doesn't work right, you're ready yeah. to cause one of those big things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't know. Okay, good to know. So, sometimes yes, most of the time no. I mm. think most of the time I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. Nick, number Is it my two. Turn again? Ooh, yeah. I'm divided between this one, but mm. I think I'm going to do when people chew with their mouth open, oh. when they go. I know your wife oh. hates that. Ooh, it gets Emma worse. It does hate Because I used to watch that. her. I can I'm sometimes. Her and my son. Who if I'm just like trying to mess with her a, bit, a little bit, I can just go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. she gets, if she listens to this, she'll be upset. She, yeah. she won't <laughs> like that sound. Yeah, yeah. She'll, yeah. she'll be upset. Yeah. Yeah. She's going to come yell at you. It's just gotten worse for me as I've like been dating my girlfriend, Vita. Shout out. But um, <laughs> like as we... Does she do that? She, no. She, I used to... Oh, I thought you were saying she... No, she doesn't do it. No, but she points out when I do it more and more. Oh. She calls out my own. Does it bother you It you starts it to yourself? bother me now. <laughs> now that she points it out, I get oh. mad at myself. That's funny. That's funny. Uh, That's funny. That's funny. Okay. Um, my number two is just, it, I'm just going to make it simple. Forgetting people's names. <laughs> Something Guilty. that is a part of ministry all the time is remembering people's names. Mm. Something that I am absolutely terrible at is remembering people's names. And it upsets me to no end. Now, Emma knows that I'm bad at it, and so she's often close by, so I can whisper, like, hey, who's this person's name? And she'll help me out. But I, it just... It, the desire is there, and the ability seems to not be, and that can make me mm. very angry mm. at times. But, um, but yeah, that's that's gonna be my number two. Is there a specific example you can think of? Like like every time I look upset. into your eyes, I'm lost. <laughs> I'm like, who am I talking oh. to? No, oh. no, no. So I are you think... upset with yourself over this? Oh, that's me. That's okay. me. Yeah, okay. yeah. No, not the person. Yeah. No. No, no, no. That's You're just like, why can't I remember your yeah, name? That's a me. Such like, a lack of I memorable name. Want to, no, 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 no. John. It's more like, and, and the thing is, too, it's not even like a, uh, a first-time guest or something like that. Mm -hmm. It can be someone I've known for a long time. And just when it comes to the conversation. I think he's getting older. <laughs> I might be. It may be a string of uh, some dementia early onset. I don't know. But uh, that's my number two. I just struggle with names, and mm -hmm. it can make me Fair. very angry. That's very fair. All right, my third one, and I'm I'm sorry, folks. We're just we're gonna go there. Uh, it's uh oh it, uh, oh yeah, oh it's oh. kind of gross because oh. it's gross and it Whoa, makes me upset. No. Oh no, yeah, come on over. Oh, when I, I'm when scared. I go to visit the 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 bagno, the facilities, oh, oh oh, and I'm I'm in the men's room. <laughs> oh, no. oh. <laughs> I'm really scared. They forget to put the seat up mm. and they just pee all over oh. it, and oh. then they leave it. And I'm like, oh. what are you four? <laughs> And this happens in spaces where I know the only people using it are adults. And then Nick's the one that walks out. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> if the shoe fits or the... Uh, oh, yeah, I'm not going to say that. So, yeah, I just, that just disgusts me mm. and makes me upset. And, mm. I, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I think we I can all agree on that. Mm. Yeah. Might need to just flush that one away, you know, and just be done with it. I would love to, but they left it on the seat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, uh, Nick, number three. All right, my third one. That kind of goes with number two. 
I hate. Wait, which number two? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was talking about number one. Mm. Need to recover from that from a second. <laughs> Take a moment of silence. <laughs> All right. My third and final ick or whatever is when people have bad breath. Ooh. I, that. I, that. I, d- <sighs> I, I, I think I'm yeah. okay. My nose. You know, All oh. Right. No. Well, <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> sorry. A lot. Okay. Uh, I just, you know, there's a line where, like, I don't know. Like, I'm like, sure, I get it. If, like, I'm at a friend's house and, like, we wake up in the morning and it's like, okay, yeah, I get it. It's first thing in the morning. Sure. But if by 3 o'clock your breath still stinks, grab a mint, a piece <laughs> of gum. Just ask me. I might have something with me. But please. No, I still love you, but it really hurts. <laughs> on the inside, <laughs> when your breath stinks. On the inside. <laughs> on the inside. <laughs> my nose. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right. Number three for me, um, it's got to be that uh, recently I have been going golfing um, pretty often. <laughs> and as much as I love the beautiful game of golf, I hate the terrible game of golf. It makes me so angry because no matter how good I want to be, I'm just not. <laughs> and I know that when I start to play, and yet every swing I think I'm going to get a hole in one. And then it goes up the tree that's ten feet away, <laughs> and I'm ready to throw a club. Um, I'm watched, not even an aggressive person, time. and Just I'm ready to throw the club. Part partly because I know I could throw the club further than the ball went. Oh, um, so, ouch. Um, you know, and what's I think honestly, what is the most angering is like the other day I went out, and on the first hole. Um, I had I got par, like oh. it chipped in from like twenty yards nice. out. It felt amazing, and then the game just got worse and worse. And worse and worse, and I'm thinking back to that nice hit, and I just could never get back there. I had to leave. I didn't even finish. I was angry. You just left. looking for I the next hit. I straight up left, and literally, I told them I was like, when I'm struggling with the thoughts that I'm having after every mm. hit, it's time to just go. That sounds like golf is fun for you there. It, it's it is when it goes well. Okay, mm. but I'm not good you at know, it. I've so. heard that golf is a four letter word. It is. It is Whoa. that can <laughs> cause in some Say people. It other four letter words oh, so we gotta be careful we gotta be real. all in the sanctification process that Amen. is absolutely yeah. right I, I do got a bonus ick oh. real quick okay. oh. and this is real quick but cowboys fans shout out ethan ormsby y'all you always think it's your year <laughs> it's that, not does that anger you it just annoys me being from texas oh, you just need to join me in apathy <laughs> land i just don't care hey you know <laughs> a different message that we talked about this is true so all right Well, guys, now you know, if you want to really get on our nerves, the ways to do it, drive slow, have bad technology, chew with your mouth, the whole list. You can watch back. Um, They probably struggle with it, too. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, you guys probably get angry about things as well. If you've got something funny that messes with you, toss it in the comments. We do want to laugh about it with you. Um, Hopefully, you guys can resonate with this a little bit. Mm. But um, like we said in the beginning, we're having this conversation because – of the lesson that um, YPT did this past Wednesday on anger and forgiveness. And I think that, as we just talked about, it's something all of us can struggle with and need to know how to deal with properly. So I would recommend, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. If you have watched it, maybe go watch it again, because it was a good reminder of how to deal with the anger in your life and how to deal with forgiveness towards others. So, Absolutely. guys, thank you for being yeah. here um, for what was hopefully a lighter, funnier podcast, <laughs> a little break from the flyover plan for a second. But we will be getting back to the flyover plan as well. So join us for our next podcast, and we will see you soon.